There we go. Welcome, everyone. We've got the August Town Hall. I feel like I say this every month about how big of a town hall we have in front of us, but 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 I mean it when I say that this is definitely the most action-packed one. I, I'm literally looking at a 12-page document in front of me packed with information that we're going to be sharing with all of you today. It is going to be a lot of info, but don't you worry. Like we said, we're going to have this recorded. We're also going to be posting a recap article. We also have a bunch of graphics that are going to help break down each of the individual pieces of information. So don't you worry. There's going to be a lot of stuff, fun stuff dropped on all of you today. But if you, you can't digest it all immediately, don't you worry. We're going to continue to reiterate it over the coming days, over the coming weeks, as we head on into football season. Because I'll tell you what, OTM is going to be the place to be for football in the 2023 season. And we're going to break all of that down today. Um, we've got TOC coming back. Pack and prizing information going to be discussed during this session. We're also going to be talking through rumble details, upcoming Jolly Joker snapshot dates, our ex expanded ship with DraftKings, a deep dive into everything going on with OTM Gold, and even more than that. So we've got no time to waste here. We're going to jump right on in. And as always, though, we're going to start off with an update on the Jolly Joker collection. And whew, I'll tell you what, the, the JJs have absolutely been on fire these past two weeks in particular. We are now up to 1,809 unique holders. I had to update this number like 10 times in, in this document in the last two days because every time I look, we've got a new member joining the JJSS. So thanks to everyone that, that is really joining us on this journey. Shout out to all the new jolly joker holders that have joined the community over the course of the past couple of days and really pumped to have all of you along this ride with us as we continue to build and grow the number one sports community on the flow blockchain because i really truly believe that that's what the jolly joker sports society is and in particular we know that the jokers love football and uh, that's what we're gonna be talking about today all things football and everything going on with OTM, with the Jolly Jokers, with TOC. And uh, keep an eye out throughout this session as well. There's going to be different aspects of the games this football season where Jolly Jokers will be receiving utility. There's also various ways where that will come into play. There's utility for just being a holder of Jolly Jokers. There's utility for the different tiers of Jolly Joker that you are in. There's utility for how many Jolly Jokers you hold. So yeah, keep your ears peeled for all of that as we go through this session. And another note on the Jolly Joker front is that as many of you probably know in here, in the Discord, we've been having some issues with the collab.land uh, connection and the Jolly Joker roles and all of that. But Luckily, we've got Jolly Neil on our side, and he has gone ahead and created a custom solution for tying your Jolly Joker hold, holding count to your Discord name. So you need to make sure that you head on over to your OTM profile on the website and make sure that your Discord username is up to date and appropriately matches your current Discord username. Discord did the change where they like took away the the hashtag and the numbers that happened at the end. So some people may have not updated this in a while. So head on over otmnft.com slash profile, make those changes, line up your discord username with the username that is presented in your OTM profile. And then uh, you'll be able to get your appropriate role here between Jolly Jokers, All Stars, Hall of Fame, and the Gold Club. Shout out to Neil for uh, being able to make that happen and to Coop. Of course, always managing things for us in the Discord. So there we have it on a, a quick update on the Jolly Joker front. The second topic of today, we got a little partnership update. And uh, 
Yeah. So as many of you know, we've been partnered up with DraftKings over the past couple of months on their Rainmakers PGA Tour product. Coop's been leading that from our side. It's been an awesome couple of months. Many, many jokers have been participating in the PGA Tour game of Rainmakers. It's probably the most active channel in the Discord right now. And we are, are super excited to announce that we are expanding this partnership with DraftKings into the football season. So this will include tools and content for Rainmakers football, just like we've been doing for golf, for the PGA Tour, tools on the website that help you navigate the Rainmakers football terrain. Justin actually just posted his first article because there's a, a pack drop that was taking place today. And Justin's going to be leading point on the football aspect of our DraftKings partnership. And on top of that, this one is not just about Rainmakers, but also for DraftKings best ball. So we've got the king of best ball himself, Justin, on our side here. He's already been doing uh, weekly drafts from DraftKings best ball on the YouTube channel. We're going to continue doing that. But uh, yeah, Justin, just kick it over to you for a sec on your your thoughts on the the DraftKings partnership, the upcoming football season, and all the the good stuff that we're going to be having coming on that front. Love it. Yeah. I mean, I've just been so excited kind of watching from the sideline um, that Rainmakers channel that we have in Discord. Coop and you put it on the shows, the articles, and there were so many people that, uh, you know, never played fantasy golf before. Never. <laughs> Some people weren't even golf fans and just got into the game and started really enjoying it. And uh, so to now be able to take kind of what we've learned and done there and take it to the football space, both from an analytics of tools, from the content, from just kind of, hey, all of that kind of strategy discussion that happens in the Discord. Um, I'm, I'm excited just to continue to, hey, bring another way to play fantasy football to this community. And uh, so on top of everything else that we have going on for people that are enjoying Rainmakers, want to play that, uh, we're going to be your, your companion, your partner, your, uh, you know, helper from a tools, analytics, content, all of that. And uh, yeah, best ball, I mean, need I say more? Drafting, drafting, drafting. We're coming up on over a thousand drafts right now. And uh, I think we got another draft on DraftKings we're going to be doing for the community on Thursday. Yeah. Over a thousand drafts. My goodness. Yeah, th there's, there's nowhere better if you're looking to get into best ball, if you're looking to learn the different strategies to learn about how to think through your draft. Justin's the guy you want to be following. So keep an eye out for those. We're going to be continuing again those weekly drafts, like Justin said. Next one will be coming up this thursday and shout out to our partners over at DraftKings. really been a, a a fantastic partnership for us and something that i'm i'm really proud of for for us as a team too i mean DraftKings is as big a name as it gets in this space and it, it means a lot to me that you know we, we kind of had this pilot partnership with them for the rainmakers pga tour game and the the intention going into that was that if, if things went well from both sides and DraftKings was happy with the value that we were able to deliver and you know, the, the cross-selling of our community into DraftKings and, and all of that, that we would expand it even further into football. So pumped that we were able to make that happen. Shout out to DraftKings. And if you have not already signed up for DraftKings, you can do so using our promo code OTM. Uh, I don't know if Cooper Justin has the link handy, but we can pop that in there. I know it's at least in the article that Justin wrote earlier today, but if you have not signed up for DraftKings, definitely do so and uh, definitely use our link because we appreciate it and uh, get a little kickback when someone signs up with our link. So that's good for us. All right. So there we have it. We've given the Jolly Joker update. We've given the partners update. And now it's time to dive into the meat. <clears throat> we know that the main things people are coming here for is for TOC pack and prizing information, is for all of the details regarding Rumble. But um, before we jump into all of that, I, I do want to take a little bit of a step back here and just kind of share out from a bigger picture standpoint, what what is the vision here at OTM? What are we trying to accomplish? How does things like OTM Gold play into that bigger vision? Because I think, you know, setting that stage is super important prior to getting into the, the nitty gritty details of it all. 
And um, yeah, so we're going to do that first. Then we're going to dive into the the deep stuff. When I think about Own the Moment, I mean, first off, it's been a a crazy, unbelievable, whew, what, three-year journey at this point, over two and a half years. Um, started in the Top Shot streets. Since then, have just expanded into so many different verticals. And um, when I think about like what we're trying to accomplish here and, and what with these fantasy games specifically, what we're trying to accomplish, I'd say that our mission here at OTM is really to build a fantasy sports platform that is fun, innovative, and community-driven. Justin and I both, like we've been super involved in the fantasy sports space for over a decade now. First and originally as kind of high-stakes, semi-professional DFS players, and obviously with Justin, best ball players. Then as content creators, I did content at Roto Grinders for a couple of years. Justin continues to do content over at Established to Run. And then the past two years as, as operators, where we've designed and operated our own fantasy sports games here at Own the Moment, of course, along with the, the help of Coop and, of course, with the help of Neil, who, without Neil, let's be honest, not, none of this would be possible. He, he's, he's certainly the man behind the curtain that is making all of this happen. But when I think about fantasy sports, like I, I do think to, to some extent, there's areas of fantasy sports that, that have become just a bit broken, right? And, you know, I look at DFS and it's overrun by computer algorithms and simulations and become like less and less social as a result. And then on top of that, there, there's there been kind of a general lack of innovation on the operator side, I would say. When, when we look at some of the fantasy products, a lot of it has been the same for many, many years now, or, you know, just kind of the recycling of the same ideas. And a lot of that has to do with with these companies that have bigger fish to fry, right? Focused on sports betting, focused on iCasino. And because of all that, I think here at OTM, we, we definitely have an opportunity to really make a splash in the fantasy sports space and do so in a way that's different, in a way that's innovative and community driven and like taking a lot of these concepts about community, about gamification that we've learned through the Web3 space and through Top Shot through all day and combining all of that together to create this foundational community that, that underlies the entire experience. So with, with all of that in mind, I think you'll notice kind of three themes throughout this session. Number one is just the, the continued focus on creative, creating innovative game formats. Number two, growing the community. And, and I'd also say specifically combining the existing communities that we have, because we really do have two distinct and unique communities between TOC and between the Jolly Jokers that we're pumped to be combining together here. And then number three, another part that's really important to all of this is creating a business model as Own the Moment that allows us to keep doing what we're doing. And uh, I'll touch more on that, but, but that one's a, it's definitely very important in order for us to continue operating as we have, continue innovating, continue building, and providing these games and experiences that the community can enjoy. So there we have it. Um, and, and like, I guess I'll dive deeper into this business model thing and, and that concept because I think that's important as, as we get into the rest of this conversation because a lot of this really comes around the specifics of, of prizes, right? And how prize pools are going to be generated. And I, I just, as we go through all of this, want to be as transparent as possible about here's what we're doing. Here's our goals that we're looking to accomplish. And, you know, kind of like, here's why we are doing things the way that we are doing them. Um, and you'll, you'll, again, you'll notice that as a theme throughout this. And, you know, in general, the, the, the high level theme you'll notice is that prize pools will come as a direct function of sales that occur throughout the season across our, our different products. And uh, I'm going to dive into OTM Gold as well, because that's an important foundational aspect too. But Justin, I'll kick it to you first, just if you have any thoughts on 
you know, the the journey of own the moment, the high level goals that we have as as a company and as a community, and uh, a- a- any color there before I dive into a, a little bit of a OTM Gold deep dive. Yeah, I mean, number one is I've just been so impressed. I think with this team, with you, with Neil, with Coop, with our community too, that's kind of provided us amazing feedback along the way. But if you look at like where we came from back in January 2021, you know, it started off with analytics because that's something that you and I, we really understood analytics from the DFS space. We saw a lot of similarities for the sports NFTs, but it was only within six months that we realized that there was so much more that kind of this community wanted that we could deliver. And that's where we launched that first version of the owners club. You know, we found out, hey, here was a new innovative way that really puts a, you know, a unique spin on fantasy sports. And, uh, you know, we delivered and that season was amazing. And then obviously we had some challenges and technical challenges throughout. But what we also learned over the past couple of years is, you know, hey, the community and the gaming experience and what we can kind of deliver for you all is so much more important than making, you know, from that tech perspective. And so what we're going to be talking about with Rumble, what we're going to be talking about with TOC, it's all about how can we continue to build games that we think that you all are going to enjoy. And uh, the technical components of it, we figure out what is necessary, what isn't necessary. But at the end of the day, it's we you know, need to build these fun, engaging games, experiences, community activations um, for you all. Because if we're going to want, if we're going to be able to stay here long term, and you know, we've seen so many companies in that space, they're not able to find like a business model that works. But for us, we want to figure out like, hey, is there a business model that can allow us to continue to provide these fun games, these fun experiences, this awesome community? that those opportunities and uh that's what we're really trying to hey be a very lean tight team that can deliver on tight margins and also deliver awesome fun engaging experiences in games and uh i think this football season is really going to be that first like wow aha let's go this is the beginning of so much more love it love it all right so Step one is is OTM Gold because OTM Gold is going to be a, a really important part of all of this and, and really kind of the thing that powers all of the games that we have here. So those that maybe are not familiar, OTM Gold is the, the, the new way that we have been able to power our fantasy games. And we've been, I'd say, really kind of soft launching Gold over the past couple of months. Gold is something that can be purchased through the OTM cashier. And what you'll see is that gold is essentially a, a 10 to 1 ratio to dollars. So 10 gold is equal to $1, 100 gold is equal to $10, etc. And once you own this gold, you can use it for a variety of activities within the OTM ecosystem. This includes best ball pack purchases, upcoming TOC pack purchases, contest entries for things like hoops that we've already piloted for Rumble coming up, the TOC marketplace, basically anything that we have in the OTM ecosystem can be purchased and powered by gold. And then once you have gold in your account, you can not only do all of these things within the ecosystem, but you can also redeem it for Dapper Balance, at which point you can then use it within the Dapper ecosystem or convert it to cash via a, a Dapper. And Dapper actually just recently, I think, removed all of their Dapper wallet fees. They also added bank wire transfers back. So you can very easily get, get cash out from Dapper Balance into your bank account. And yeah, we, we've been running these contests with Best Ball. You purchase packs in gold. 100% of the gold from the entries goes into the prize pool. So zero rate contest there, which we, we think really allows the game and the ecosystem to be more sustainable long term without kind of bleeding things dry via rake. And so we're trying things a little differently a, as a result and, you know, a, a, as a way of generating some cash flow in there are two fees that are associated with with gold so upon the purchase and the withdrawal of gold we have a cashier's fee so that's five percent there on all of the gold that is purchased and redeemed and then we've also talked in the past about a a monthly management fee which is something that is going to be implemented starting next month and how that will work is that there will be a 1.5 percent monthly management fee on the gold that is held in users' accounts, meaning that on the first of every month, any gold sitting in the user's balance will be reduced by 1.5%. 
And this is our way of kind of offsetting the fact that we have these zero rake contests, um, offsetting the fact that we're not churning in money every single contest like some of these other fantasy sports contests or companies are, which, you know, I really do think is, is a big part of the reason why DFS has, has become so difficult to win and has kind of bled the ecosystem dry. So, yeah, that that is what we are going with here. And, you know, this is something that we've put a ton of thought into. And, like, I, I, I'm not kidding when we say we've experimented with so many different ideas, so many ways about how we could go about this. And I feel and we feel that that this model best sets us up for success as own the moment as well in return then as setting up the community for success. So we're going to continue to monitor these things over the coming weeks. We'll continue, of course, to, to take in community feedback, to listen to everything that, that everyone has to say, and continue to make the decisions that we feel are best for both own the moment as a business for the community as a whole. And uh, yeah, I just... You know, personally, I, I appreciate all, all of your trust and support. And I, I think that we've, you know, uh, hopefully you guys feel the same way that we've done a good job by the community the past couple of years. And we're going to continue doing that. And, uh, you know, it, 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 the way I look at it is that we're all in this together. And I think we've really set things up in a way where we have mutually aligned incentives between the team and the community. And, uh, we all grow together. And in the, in the words of our friend, yeah, baby, let's grow. All right. So there we have it. We've got the introduction. We've laid the groundwork. Now let's dive into the details here. We're going to start with the owner's club. We've got pack drop date details coming here. We've got prize pool breakdowns. We've got marketplace details. It's all happening. Here we go. And also, I, I, do, I do see that there's questions in chat. After this town hall session, we're going to jump on over to YouTube. We're going to open some packs, do some giveaways, and we'll also m maybe address some questions during that. So I, I, I'm just going to kind of go through the spiel that we have during this session. We'll read all of the, the questions, but not, not going to do Q&A during this particular session. But may, maybe on the YouTube we can, or, or maybe we'll, we'll set up another Q and A session because again, there, there's about to be a lot of information dropped, so th there will be several Q and A sessions and such over the coming coming days and weeks. And we've got yeah. 200 people in the audience here right now. So uh, it'd be difficult to answer all these questions, but uh, we'll definitely make sure over time, hopefully the article should answer the majority of them. Otherwise, you know, we'll be hanging out in Discord and happy to kind of chat there. But uh, love seeing all the support and uh, excitement around this. Let's go. All right. All right. Here we go. TOC packs are going to become available for sale starting drum roll please this thursday two days from now toc packs gonna be flying off the shelves packs are going to cost 99 dollars or 990 gold you can purchase them with either payment method there packs contain five cards one of each position and each pack with four base tier cards and one rare tier card so there we have it. We are, I mean, we're less than 48 hours away from ripping TOC packs. Now, during this first wave, packs are going to be available exclusively to two groups. They are going to be available to anyone that is an OG TOC card holder, and they are going to be available to Jolly Joker holders. With the Jolly Jokers, we are going to be taking a snapshot. There's going to be a couple snapshots mentioned throughout the rest of this conversation, but the first one is taking place tomorrow night, Wednesday, August 9th at midnight. 
and everyone that is in that snapshot because they own a Jolly Joker, in addition to everyone that is an OG TOC card holder, you will be eligible in Wave 1 to be the first people to buy TOC pack. So if you're not currently an OG TOC card holder, if you're not currently a Jolly Joker holder, now would be a good time to go on over. Head on over to our friends at Floaty, floaty.io, buy a Jolly Joker from the marketplace there. You've got just over 24 hours now to, to get your hands on the JJ if you're interested in getting into the Wave 1 group and ripping those TOC packs. Coop's also got some graphics that is going to be dropping in here, which will also be part of the article as well. And uh, this is going to be the first of four weekly snapshots that, that take place for the Jolly Jokers. We'll cover the rest later, but every Wednesday we're going to have a snapshot for a variety of, of different reasons. And so also, with the launch of TOC packs and throughout the entirety of the TOC pack sales period, we are going to be running a deal where you buy five packs and you get another one free. So for every five packs that you purchase, you get an additional pack for free. And there is no limit to the number of times that you can take advantage of this deal. And again, this is going to become available immediately on Thursday when packs go to sale, exclusive for the time being to Jolly Joker holders and to TOC OG holders. And then that deal will continue through the entirety of the selling of TOC packs. And it doesn't have to be in one purchase either, right? It's just like every time you purchase a fifth pack, you get a free one. So you can buy three one time and then two the next time and you'll get a free pack with that. It's fully automated by the man himself, Neil. You'll get an airdropped pack showing up into your account. Which leads me to then the second snapshot, which is going to take place next Wednesday, August 16th. And this one is going to be based on Jolly, a Jolly Joker tier promotion for TOC. Okay, so I'm going to, this one, I'm going to try to break this one down for you too. I think we have a graphic for it as well. But for anyone that takes advantage of that buy five, get one free special during that first week, meaning that you've purchased at least five TOC packs, you will become eligible for an additional promotion based on your Jolly Joker tier. So for the Gold Club, any Gold Club members that are in the Gold Club as of the snapshot next Wednesday and have also taken advantage of the buy five TOC pack specials. If you're in the gold club, you automatically get an extra TOC pack. Now, if you're in the hall of fame, the all stars or the jolly jokers. And again, you take advantage of that buy five, get one free special in the first week. You will get put into a raffle to win one of 25 free TOC packs in each of those tiers. And also for depending on what tier you're in, you're eligible for all of the other ones as well. So if you're in the gold club, you automatically get your free pack as a part of being in the gold club and you get into the raffle for the hall of fame for the all stars and for the jolly jokers. I'm just going to add on, uh, who put it in the chat? I just put it in the chat again, but for those who are more visual, that kind of talks through exactly what TJ is saying with the uh, buy five, get one based off those tiers. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So, so we've got that in there again. All, all, like we said, a lot of info, but uh, all of this is going to be in the article too. And so there we have it. So, so for TOC, just to kind of like quickly summarize that, packs go on sale this Thursday. For every five packs you buy, you get one free. And if you take advantage of that special in the first week and you're a Jolly Joker holder, you will get an additional perk based on the tier that you are in as of the snapshot next Wednesday. Cool. All right. So there we have it. We're going to be ripping packs soon. Now, of course, everybody wants to know what is the deal with prizing in TOC? Prizes are going to be determined as a direct function of the number of packs that are sold. We believe that this sets the game up in a way that is, is consistent and transparent. 
And so how that will work is for every 1,250 packs sold, we will be adding 1 million gold, which is equivalent to $100,000 to the prize pool. And, and for those of you doing the math at home, that means that 80% of the money from pack purchases will go into the overall TOC prize pool for the season. Now, that overall prize pool will be split up into three sections. 70% of the overall prize pool will go in the form of weekly prizes. So we have our five weekly contests. 70% of the overall prize pool will go into those contests, and we'll, we'll have a breakdown of what those contests look like as well. 15% of the overall prize pool will go into the finals week, which will take place in week 17. This includes the TOC final and the champions final. We'll also have information on that shortly. And then the final 15% is going to be held back for other uses. This could be different achievements that happen through the year or leaderboards or additional contests. Who knows? Some surprises along the way. So 70% of the 70% of the prize pool go into weekly prizes, 15% to the finals week, and 15% for other kind of mystery events throughout the season. Now, when it comes to the weekly prizes, that's going to be breaking down between five contests. We have the main event, the low ball, the side hustle, the Misf the Island of Misfit cards, and then the OGs contest from the 2021 cards. And so each week, 60% of the weekly prize pool goes to the main event. And then 10% of the prize pool goes to each of the other four contests. So prize pools weighted towards the main event and then equivalent prizes to each of the others every week of the season. For the most part, week to week, the prize pools will, will be the same or close, but it is possible that this specific prize pool each week ends up being different, and we will release the weekly prizes as we go, along with the specific payouts for those prizes as we go along. We're also, early in the season, going to be using packs as a part of the prize pool, particularly in contests like the Side Hustle and the Island of Misfit cards. Generally speaking, gold is going to be the prizes, but for those two card contests, we're going to start off by rewarding packs as prizes. We also have our starter cards that are going to be launching in the future. Starter cards are completely free for anyone to claim. This provides a way for customer acquisition for people that maybe just want to get started with the starter card, then they can play early on the side hustle and the misfit cards, trying to turn those starter cards into a pack and, you know, providing a, another element of the experience to get new people in the door that maybe aren't buying packs right away, but want to start with that starter pack and have a chance to win their way into real packs. Starter cards cannot be bought, sold, or transferred on any marketplace or trading or anything like that. So no need to worry about someone creating 100 accounts and getting a whole bunch of cards. The most any person or any accounts ever are going to be able to have is five starter cards. And uh, those do not count as rares. There are no rare starter cards. They are all just starter cards. Correct, correct. So, yeah, there we have it. And, you know, if you, if you tie those two together, it basically means that for... Every million gold that gets unlocked in the prize pool, 700,000 gold is going to weekly prizes, 150,000 gold is going to the finals week, and then 150,000 gold is reserved for the additional prizing. For the finals week, again, we have two contests that are going to be taking place in week 17 that throughout the season you can earn your way into. We have the TOC final. So this is going to take 10% of the total prize pool and how this will work. And we, we did the same thing in TOC the first time around, but the top 10% of finishers in the main event every week will earn a seat to the week 17 TOC final. One, again, so one seat per entry in the, in the top 10%. Unlimited entries can be acquired per user. And then we will have the champions final, 
which is 5% of the total prize pool. And this will be the winner of the main event each week gets a seat into then the 16 person champions final taking place in week 17. So that's the finals week. And then again, we have that final 15% set aside. All right. Yeah, I, th I think that covers. I think that covers it all. So you buy packs. The more packs that get purchased, the larger the prize pool is. Most of the prizes go to the weekly contest, but there's other ways to earn the prizes as well. And uh, again, I, I think this sets up a mutually aligned setup where it's in all of our best interest to have as many people as possible playing TOC because the more users that play, the more packs that get purchased, the more prizes that get offered to everyone. And That's uh, actually a good one, TJ. I'm going to touch on that real quick because packs do go on sale in two days. And uh, one thing that we definitely learned, actually we learned two core things around this topic in the first season of TOC. One is that this game is much more fun when you are playing with friends. And now obviously a lot of people have made friends amongst the community and you get that kind of fun aspect, but also people who kind of bring in a friend. And when you have that friend, you can strategize together. You can sweat the games together. You can maybe trade cards. You can like, um, you know, at least just join and enjoy that experience a lot better. And so that I think is one thing we learned from the first one. So we're definitely encouraging. Obviously, it's a great way to build and grow the community, but also from people we've talked to, if you have any other friends in your fantasy football leagues, you get that league, bring them into TOC, spread that joy. The second is it's rather difficult to kind of bring new people into TOC once we're middle of the season. It's just more, you know, you're not really having a, much access to, pa to packs. You already kind of missed out on some of the utility aspects. So we want to push as much as possible now. Like if you do have that fantasy football draft, bring them into TOC, introduce them, get that group chat going and let them know what they're missing out on. This is now the time to do it. Wow, packs are going to be for sale before we actually, um, you know, get into that, uh, get into the season. And if it's not now, because maybe they don't have a Jolly Joker or they don't have OG cards, then you know what? Give it a, in a week or two or a couple weeks, maybe when we get starter packs and you'll help them get that first starter pack and get them hooked that way. But we're really leaning on you all because we're not going to be going, you know, spending marketing dollars to go grow this game. A, we just don't have that. And if we were to spend marketing dollars, that's more money that we need to, you know, try to take out of the community some other way. So instead of doing that, we want to kind of count on you all through organic, through, you know, kind of get that growth. Bring your friends in. Uh, that's kind of my one major ask here is just think about who of your friends that you play fantasy football with, that you talk to about football would maybe be interested in playing TOC. Bring them in now. Love it. Love it. So there we have it. That's all the details on packs. Um, starter packs. Again, we talked about this last time, but there are going to be starter packs that can be one per user claimed, completely free to claim those. The They contain five cards, one of each position, and then those cards cannot be bought or sold on the marketplace. Uh, those will be released later in August. So no starter packs off the gate, but keep an eye out as we get into kind of mid-late August. Starter packs will also become available and then we have the toc marketplace the the marketplace will take place completely in gold so you can list cards for an amount of gold another user can then go and purchase that card from you for the amount of gold that you have listed it for once that transaction takes place gold gets transferred from one account to the other the card gets transferred from one account to the other. And then there's also a kind of standard 5% fee on the seller for each of these transactions. And the marketplace is going to open after week one. So for the week one contests, you will only be able to play with the cards that you pull in the packs. So a little bit of a twist to the week one contests, pull packs enter week one people will win 
their first round of gold in those week one contests. And then after week one has been completed, we will be opening up the marketplace and you'll be able to begin buying and selling gold on the marketplace. So that's the update on the marketplace side. And I think that that covers everything. Um, yeah. Again, that, that was a lot to unpack. We're going to be posting all of this info in the article. We're going to be continue to iterate it over the coming days and weeks. But really, the main thing you need to know is that you need to either own an OG card or a Jolly Joker by tomorrow night. And then you get to start ripping packs this coming Thursday. Pumped to have TOC back. Um, I really think TOC is... is just an awesome product, awesome game, tons of innovation there, super community driven and just just a lot of fun and, and also simple, right? Like I, I think we've seen from the community, people love the positional scoring, love the fact that we don't have to worry about injuries, love the fact that when some random tight end scores one week, TSC is the only game where that's mattering for people from a fantasy perspective and um, pumped to see people ripping packs and... uh starting to enter these week one contests so there we have it oh, and the number one thing it. i can see there tj is if you're unsure about toc just go in the toc fantasy channel and ask anyone who played the first season what their experience was whether or not they enjoyed it and uh i think you will be very quickly uh convinced through the positive feedback Yes, yes, yes. So there we have it. Looking forward to bringing back TOC for those that played two years ago and also looking forward to people that maybe were not around for the inaugural season to get involved and play their first season of, of TOC starting in just a couple of days. All right. Now that we've covered TOC, it's time to move on to the rumble section here. Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. All right. Rumble 2023. For those that are not familiar, Rumble is another fantasy football game here in the OTM ecosystem where users take their NFL all day collection, use the players of the moments that they own to build fantasy lineups and compete against other users. So it's really not any different than TOC or, or DraftKings Rainmakers, just instead of using TOC cards or Rainmakers cards to create your lineups, you use NFL all day moments to create your lineups. You create an eight player roster, one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, one tight end, one flex, and then one DST plus, which is any non skill position moment. So this could be a defensive player, a lineman, a punter, a kicker, a team moment. Any of those can be used for defense. We also have the Rumble Hero, which is any rare or legendary moment can be used as the quote-unquote Rumble Hero, which means that you get 1.25x multiplier on your fantasy points scored. The Rumble scoring system is pretty much standard PPR scoring. And just like TOC, we've got the Rumble Wrinkle in play where lineups lock at one o'clock on Sunday and you can use players that have already played in your lineups, which creates a nice little Thursday night football wrinkle. All right. So let's, let's get into rumble 2023. So for this coming season, the intention is that there are three ways to play rumble. <clears throat> um, now I'm going to start off with Something that's that's a little less less than ideal, if I'm being honest. But we are currently and actively and have actively been in conversations with Dapper about a free to enter weekly Rumble contest sponsored by Dapper, like we had last year. But as of this point in time, there is no deal in place. We are still hopeful that prior to week one, there will be some kind of deal in place. And we have been told that there will be some kind of deal in place. But as of now, that is not the case. So I feel like we need a little bit of a community rally to make this happen. If you liked Rumble last year, if you view Rumble as a key part 
of the NFL all day community and ecosystem. We need to be talking about it on Twitter. We need to be talking about it in their Discord. We need to make it so clear that Rumble is a critical piece to NFL all day so that we can get that funding to have the free to enter contest because we know you all want of that. Maybe we get some kind of like Twitter campaign going here. I don't know. But to me, this feels like a community rallying moment where we got to find a way to make this happen. And again, I'm still confident and hopeful that it will happen. I, I am bummed that it hasn't happened yet. We've been working on it for literally months. So, you know, I, I'm just as disappointed as everyone that we do not yet have that to share with you. But you there it is. Wanted to, wanted to start with that. I think if you are going to put a tweet out or put something in Discord, I think what's most important is expressing how either in the past you have bought AD moments specifically for your Rumble lineup or in the future how much you're looking forward to grinding the marketplace, uh, buying for the Rumble, the Thursday wrinkle, buying new moments, new rares for your lineup. Uh, those are the type of things that um, we believe can help kind of get this across the finish line. But again, as I said, we've had conversations after conversations. We are hopeful and we are continuing to try to you know, push this forward. But um, that's kind of where we stand right now. So with this in mind, that, that hasn't stopped us, of course. We've continued to be deep in the lab, working to figure out, you know, how, how can we get creative here? How can we deliver an awesome rumble experience regardless of whether or not we get that dapper support and that dapper funding um so we've got something for you and uh yeah i think it's a fun game that that really is unique and delivers an engaging fun experience for the community all season long that gives a way to create and fund a prize pool that also gives utility to Jolly Joker holders in the process. So without further ado, we will introduce our core Rumble product for the 2023 season. And it's going to be called Rumble Legends. So here we have it, Rumble Legends 2023. This is your way to compete all season long to win your way into the Rumble Legends tournament. The Rumble Legends Tournament, we're going to work backwards from this. It's going to be a three-week series of events taking place in weeks 15, 16, and 17. And all season long, you will be competing in qualifier contests to earn a golden ticket, which gets you into the Rumble Legends Tournament. So in some ways, it's kind of got some like underdog DraftKings best ball vibes to it. The Rumble Legends Tournament, again, a three-week contest taking place weeks 15, 16, 17, and it's going to be a 1,000-player final tournament. So what this means is that over the course of the season, there will be 1,000 golden tickets that are available to be won. First, let's break down the Legends Final. So week 15, there will be 1,000 entries and the top 333 will then advance to week 16 in week 16 there will then be 333 entries of which the top 100 will advance to week 17 and then week 17 the final remaining 100 entries compete in the final one week tournament for the grand prize where one person will become the rumble legend and we're going to get into the prizing information here but depending on how all of the sales and such go we are hoping that the first place prize will be ten thousand dollars that's the goal here at least ten thousand dollars up top is the goal so you got to get one of these 1,000 golden tickets. How do you do that? There are going to be three ways that you can earn the golden tickets. 700 of them, or 70%, will be awarded through the weekly Rumble Legends Qualifier Contest. 
twenty percent of them, two hundred golden tickets, will be awarded via the weekly Jolly Jokers qualifier contest, which will also have a cumulative leaderboard aspect to it. And then the final ten percent of golden tickets will be awarded via other methods throughout the season, whether that be additional contests, additional leaderboards, giveaways, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, to participate. In each of these weekly contests, you must own a ticket to that week's contest. So for every ticket that you own, you get one lineup into the Rumble Legends contest. And you can get these tickets either by purchasing them directly or by winning them in other contests. So we're going for kind of like a little bit of a, you know, carnival amusement park type of vibe here so we have these weekly tickets but you can also get a season pass and if you have a season pass then it gets you one ticket into the contest every single week in weeks one through weeks 14 there will also be quarterly passes that will get you a ticket to a four-week period in those contests so Again, there's going to be essentially three elements that get you an entry and that are available for purchase to play in Rumble. So a weekly ticket costs $10. A quarterly pass costs $35. So you get four tickets for $35. And then the season pass is $129. However, if you own a Jolly Joker, you get a discount on the season passes. So the base season pass price is $129. But if you own a Jolly Joker, you get to buy season passes for $99. In addition, we will be having our third Jolly Joker snapshot. This will be taking place on Wednesday, August 23rd. And this will determine eligibility for our Jolly Joker buy two, get one free special for the Jolly Joker or for the Rumble season passes. So we'll be taking a snapshot in what, I guess, three weeks now, two weeks, Wednesday, the 23rd. Everybody that owns a Jolly Joker at that time will be able to buy two season passes for $99 each, and then also get one free. And this will be limited to one per user. We will then also be having a final mystery snapshot related to Rumble taking place on the last Wednesday of August, August 30th. Now, just like TOC, for every season pass, quarterly pass, weekly ticket that gets purchased, gold will get put into the prize pool. So continuing with that theme where the more money that comes in the door, the more money that we are able to put out into the prize pool. So then, okay. All right, cool. So let's walk through the weekly Rumble Legends qualifier contest where the top 50 each week. So, so okay. So each week, there's this Rumble qualifier, con Rumble Legends qualifier contest. You are able to enter as many lineups as tickets that you have for that week. The top 50 finishers get a final golden ticket. 51 through 100 will then get a quarterly pass to the next quarter. So you'll get four additional tickets for future weeks. And then 101 through 200 will get a weekly ticket to the contest the following week. So each week, your ultimate goal is to win a golden ticket to the final tournament. However, you also have the opportunity to be stacking up and earning different tickets and different passes throughout the season so that you, again, have more shots at it to win additional golden tickets i know this one's a lot of info the this one in particular i mean it, it's yeah it, it's a lot of info we're putting it in the in the graphic and all 
But the bottom line is basically just like you buy these season passes and then you play Rumble for how many season passes you have and you want to score more points than other people. That's the bottom line. There's also going to be a Jolly Joker qualifier tournament, which gives away 20% of the tickets. And how this one will work is for every Jolly Joker that you own, you get an entry into that contest. So this is where we are adding utility to the Jolly Jokers for the number of Jolly Jokers that you hold. Now, you must also own at least one pass in addition to your Jolly Joker in order to play in this contest. But once you have at least one pass for every Jolly Joker that you hold, you get one entry into the contest. And this is going to be based on a weekly snapshot. So this will really incentivize people to be holding on to their Jolly Jokers and giving utility to holding their Jolly Jokers all season long, which you know we believe overall is good for the collection, good for the community. Okay, so then for those, for the Jolly Joker contest, each week the top 10 automatically get a golden ticket, and then there's also a cumulative leaderboard. And the top 50 on the cumulative leaderboard also get a golden ticket. All right, I feel like I've just said a million things. Justin Coop, help me out. Are there questions? No, Coop What's trying the to word? Right in the background, trying to create some graphics for this because I know we're going to have them in the article and such. Um, definitely a lot of information, but there's a lot of uh, method to the madness, I would say. Um, because specifically for the Rumble, we wanted to make sure that we are providing, hey, you have these weekly contests, have the ability to kind of go towards this season long, this eventual prize. Uh, there's a ton of utility for Jolly Joker holders with this wet method of the contest as well. Uh, so really all you need to do take away here right now is that there is going to be a rumble um, that we're going to have some really great prizes for. Uh, you got to buy some season passes to play them and we'll have all that information about that. And uh, as TJ was alluded to at the end there, there is a, you know, there's multiple different contests that can get you a golden ticket. You can either play in the ones where Jolly Jokers don't matter. It just gives you a, um, a little discount to purchase. Or there's specific ones that are for Jolly Jokers that Jolly Jokers get specific increased chances to get those golden tickets. And uh, so that's what we'll break down completely in the article on the site. Neil's done a great job of really making this just a clean user experience uh, so you can understand it all. There we have it. There we have it. We're going to be posting the article with all of those details. We're also, in addition, going to be having weekly gold contests for Rumble where you'll be able to buy in for gold and compete against other users. And I think that does it for now. Um, well, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to reiterate the Rumble stuff specifically because I think that's the, the most complex here. But uh, there we have it. Snapshots coming every single Wednesday in August. TOC packs available this Thursday. Rumble season passes will be available for sale later this month, probably in two weeks, about two weeks before the season there. And then we'll also keep everyone up to date on uh, whether or not we get this hashtag fund rumble going with Dapper. And I uh, think that, that just about does it. We've got a giveaway to launch here. So if you have not already, make sure you head on over to the Twitter machine and retweet that tweet we're giving away a patrick mahomes nfl all day moment you gotta retweet it and you also gotta be hanging out here in the discord chat and then we're gonna head on over to the youtube channel we'll rip open a pack i'll take a look at all of the questions because i've not had a chance to read any of them maybe we can answer some questions over on the youtube stream again we'll be posting the article we'll be posting the recording of this to the YouTube channel. Justin and Coop, shall we close things out with the giveaway? Let's do it. Let's do it.
Um, so just to make sure, one last chance, make sure you have retweeted the tweet and uh, replied with a GIF. And uh, we see who is still here right now. So right now we are going to randomly choose an ah, uh, because I see people going in and out. I'm just gonna close my eyes. I'm putting my finger on, uh, moving it around and I'm gonna pick one name and uh, then I'll pick a backup just in, purse that per in case that person did not retweet and reply. How's that sound? Sounds great to me. Eyes are closed. We need like some Jeopardy or maybe Wheel of Fortune. I don't know. We need Jeopardy music. We're moving. And C. Czar Nikolai. Czar Nikolai is our primary winner. Czar Nikolai, as long as you retweeted and uh, replied to the OTM tweet, you have won yourself. Uh, Patrick Mahomes all day moment. I'm now going to do two quick backups real quick, just in case. Primal. Primal is the first one, and the second is going to be is living the dr probably it is living the dream. Yep, JT is living the dream. Uh, so uh, those are our Czar Nikolai, Primal, and then JT is living the dream. Do a check, and we'll reach out to you to get you your Patrick Mahomes moment. Uh, hopefully, you follow through. Ah. Uh, to the YouTube, and uh, we'll head over. We'll rip a pack. We'll do some more, another giveaway there, and uh, kind of hang out a little longer. Let's do it. I'm dropping the YouTube link into the chat right there. So head on over to the YouTube. Hammer that like button the second you get in there, because you're gonna like the giveaways. We'll uh, we'll chat through any questions. It'll be easier to take questions in there. And uh, pump for football season. Thanks everyone for joining us.